Hello everybody. In this lecture we are going to look at another lemma about um, neighborhoods of zero in topological vector spaces. Remember last time we have shown that given a neighborhood, let's call it zero of uh, u of zero, you can find a neighborhood of zero that is contained in u and that is balanced. So inside every neighborhood of zero you can find a balanced neighborhood. And uh, what we are now going to show, this is our lemma for this lecture, is the following. Given a convex neighborhood of zero, so let u be a convex neighborhood of zero this, this time, then you can find a neighborhood of zero that is contained in u and that it is, that is um, that is also convex and that is also balanced So proof. We define a set A as the intersection over all alpha u's where alpha ranges over all scalars of absolute value 1. Now remember that last time we have um, we, we proved that we can construct a, a set W that is balanced and that is contained in U. So W is a subset of U. And now since W is balanced, we have that alpha to the minus one W is the same as w as long as the absolute value of alpha is 1. So this means that um, we can write w is inside alpha u and uh, we can conclude that w is inside a because a remember it is a intersection of these sets alpha u where alpha ranges over um, over all alphas that have absolute value one now w is is an open set and the interior of a which I denote by this um, little circle attached to A, is by definition the union of all open sets that are contained in A. Um, and since W is open, W belongs to the interior of A. Thus, we can uh, conclude that um, that um, the interior is a neighborhood that contains uh, zero being by definition just a open set that contains zero. Now note that this interior um, of A is a subset of U uh, 
because look how A is defined. A is an intersection of sets alpha u where um, alpha ranges over all alphas with um, absolute value one. So in particular, if you pick um, alpha as being equal to one, you get u as one of these uh, the sets we are intersecting here. And um, so alpha, the interior of alpha is in u. And um, also note that a is convex. because we assume u is convex and multiplying u times um, alpha doesn't change convexity. So, alpha, uh, so A is an intersection of convex sets and intersections of convex sets are convex. So A is convex. And we have proven in a previous lecture that the interior of a convex set is convex. So the interior of A is convex. This means that we have already shown half of the theorem because we have promised to find a neighborhood that is convex and balanced. And we have now found the interior of A to be convex. And we are now going to show that this interior of A is also balanced, and then we will be finished. So remember to say that a set is balanced means that you can multiply it by scalars of absolute value um, less than or equal to one, and you stay in the stay in the set. And um, well, you can express every such scalar in the following form. You pick, you pick R between zero and one. So R is a real number. And you pick B such that B has absolute value one. Then you can write R beta a and um, to show that a is balanced which implies that the interior of a is balanced of course we have to show that r beta a is the same as a no it's inside a now um, r beta a is by definition of a the intersection of uh, alphas with absolute value one, R beta alpha u. And we can lump beta and alpha together uh, into a new alpha because uh, beta has absolute value one and alpha does two. So uh, this intersection is the same as the intersection of uh, all alphas with absolute value one R alpha U. Now by convex, or I should say it this way, um, U is a convex set that contains zero and R is a real number between 0 and 1. This means that R alpha u is, uh, is inside alpha u. So the intersection over all R alpha u's is inside A because A is the intersection over, uh, over the alpha u's. And by what we have written here in this line, uh, we know that R beta A is the intersection over these alphas with absolute value one, R alpha u. Um, so 
arbita a is inside a and this shows that a is balanced and of course this concludes our proof thank you for watching this lecture make sure to bookmark the playlist if you would like to see more in the future more lectures are on the way see you next time